everyone, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel and today how to replace the battery on your VW T5 transporter. This is the VW T5 transporter here, the beast. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using a spare battery just so that I don't lose any settings. Now you do that by using some jump leads. What you could also use instead is a 12 volt cigarette lighter jump starter just so you can keep power in the van while you swap the battery over. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, you can just straight swap it out, but you might lose a few settings on your radio and stereo and a few other settings. I'm going to do that because I've got a spare battery. Right, let's get cracking. I'll just show you what was happening on my Volkswagen T5. I was going to start it and it was very sluggish. So why wait till the battery completely fails? Now the first thing you need to do is open the bonnet. And there's a link above now about how to do that. And the battery is over here on the right hand side. And that is what we're going to be taking out and replacing with the brand new one, which is here. Now I got an official Volkswagen battery. It was either that one or a Bosch and I went for the official Volkswagen. Now you need to remove this bolt down here, which is holding it in. This is a 13 millimeter bolt to so just undo that anti-clockwise. That is literally holding the battery in place. Stop it moving about. And there's a link above now about the fuse box locations and how to check the fuses on your Volkswagen T5 transporter. Right, so now just wiggle the battery forward a little bit. And now take a 10 millimeter spanner and just undo the clasps there. This is the bit that is actually holding on to the battery terminal. That's what squeezes it on and hold it in place so just loosen that off be careful on the positive one not to touch your metal spanner onto any of the bodywork because you will get a shock and you don't want to blow any fuses so let's just undo the negative terminal nut now i'm going to take the spare battery and just connect this up just so we've got a permanent 12 volts running through the van as I said earlier, you don't have to do this. You could literally just swap the battery straight out and put the new one straight in. I just don't want to lose any settings. Now what you do is just connect the negative one to the negative cable and the positive jump lead to the positive part of the cable. Bearing in mind these two jump leads are connected to that spare battery so you've got power running through those once you're happy you've got a good connection you can just lift those off now it doesn't matter with the negative one you can just put that on the side there but with the positive be very careful not to touch any of the bodywork and what I'm going to do is as soon as I've moved it out of the way I'm just going to wrap it in a great big rag and there's a link above now about how to reset the service indicator on your Volkswagen T5 transporter. As you can see here, I'm just going to wrap it up in a rag. Because obviously we've got that connected to the spare battery, so we've got power going through there. Okay, so now we can lift that old battery out. It's fairly heavy, but if you've got a bit of strength, it should be fairly simple. Just lay that on the floor and there's the brand new battery to go in. Now the old battery did have a nice sleeve around it which is here. This is just to keep it warm in the depths of winter so that's a nice little touch. So make sure you just slide that over the new battery and just check where the battery came out that there's no corrosion that there was no leaks from that battery that it's all nice and clean and this one is looking tip top so I'm happy about that now just an old trick just put some petroleum jelly on the terminals of the new battery one because it helps the cables go on nice and easily and two it stops any corrosion just gives them a bit of protection you don't need a lot And there's a link above now about the dashboard lights, meaning on your Volkswagen T5 transporter. 
So now let's lift the brand new battery in, making sure it's the right way round. Once you've got it in there, just push it back as far as it will go. And then we've just got that bolt and the bracket to push against that battery just to hold it in place. So what we're going to do is just put the positive terminal back on. Just be very careful here. Just obviously with that Vaseline on it makes it a lot easier just to slide on. Now let's do the negative one. And just slide that onto the battery terminal there. So that's all looking good. So we've had constant 12 volts of power going through the van, so we shouldn't have lost any settings. Now take your 10 mil spanner again and just tighten up that connection so it's nice and tight and won't move. And then do the same on the positive terminal. You can remove that positive jump lead. So just tighten this up so it's nice and tight. And there's a link above now about how to replace the rear wiper blade on your VW T5 transporter. So we're just tightening this up here. Good stuff. So let's remove the negative jump lead. So we just need to put the holding bracket back in to so just line it up and the bit of the back is higher and it should just go over a small lip which is at the bottom of the battery. So just line that up as with any bolts or screws just do them with your hand to start with so you don't damage the thread. Once you're happy that it's going in then get your socket back out and just tighten that up clockwise. we go and I did notice on my van when I took that old battery out it should have a cover over the positive terminal just to stop anything falling on it and it's shorting out on the bodywork I haven't actually got a plastic cover with me, so I'm just going to take some black duct tape and just tidy that up. I think I'll order a new cover for that, just to give it a little bit of protection. Now I'm going to test the new battery. It should come fully charged. So let's just start it up, make sure it turns over really sweet. Oh, brilliant absolutely fantastic as you can see there i haven't lost any settings on the clock i'm just going to check the stereo just turn that on and that has got all the settings as well i mean probably if you disconnected the battery and put a new one in without doing this bridging you probably wouldn't lose any settings but why take the chance and after all that hard work it's definitely time for a lovely cup of tea if you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here for more how to's, helpful tips and life hacks. And if you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab. And a great big thank you to my dad for helping me out today. Cheers, dad. Love ya.